Good, thanks. Yeah, I'm pretty good. 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 Uh, as we as we just discussed, uh, we are going to be watching uh, the sorcerers and the wildebeests uh, go head to head here for our first matchup of tonight. Obviously, Paladin. Um, tell me uh, some things about these two teams. Let's start with the wildebeests here. Four and zero, uh, and they're going off on a strong start. Yeah, so going up, going into detail about the Wildebeest, the Wildebeest have been obviously undoubtedly completely dominant this season. They have a 33 goal differential. They've only dropped two games through the series they played, and they've swept two of the four games they've played. They're currently the only undefeated team, and they're looking to come out really strong here. Yeah, and uh, it, it might look like they stay undefeated here because they're up against the 0-4 lowly Sorcerers here. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem all too good for them right now. Yeah, the Sorcerers are the polar opposites of the Wildebeest right now. 0-4, they've only won two games through their first four matches, and it's not looking too good for them here today. But we'll see if they can start turning things around and gaining some momentum nonetheless. Now, the interesting thing about um, about the Sorcerers team is that their MMR cap uh, uh, is on is right on the cap, right? They only have five MMR left over. So if they want to make a trade, they need to trade away two players uh, to to get an upgrade here. And they they t if looking at this team, the MMRs th there's only a 25 difference from the highest to the lowest MMR player, right? There's no 1200, but there's no 1000 player either. So. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's really odd to see that they're struggling this much considering the fact that their worst player is about as good as most teams' second best player. Yeah, they seem to be playing a very fluid four-man style roster and whether that's them trying to figure out their chemistry or they're trying to work towards a legitimate four-man roster, it doesn't seem to be working just yet. Although, I will add that NorCal is a more recent addition. He started off the season as a free agent and has come in in the last couple of weeks so we'll have to see uh what he can do to change the tides on this team yeah and uh well he's the only he's been the only one along with sinful to score uh, relatively any goals uh, for this team uh, as well as having the most amount of uh, average assists per game and is just about one save per game and uh, that's quite low amount of saves per game considering the fact that they they almost have the same amount of saves as goals per game. Yeah, for the other two players uh, on their main roster right now, Insult and Tyler Scully, both of them are shooting below 16% shot accuracy, uh, and that can't continue if they're gonna if they're going to pull out a win at some point in the next few weeks. Let's talk about something positive. The Wildebeests here, uh, all three of their players with over a goal per game, all three of their players with over an assist per game. <laughs> that's uh, that's quite the stat to have uh, all three players with over an assist per game. That That is quite something that we normally should not be able to see, but that just shows their dominance. They have over 33 goals in goal differential right now in four games, right? And yeah. as you said, uh, they, they swept practically every single game, correct? Yeah, they had two games that were sweeps. Um, they had a 3-2 game, and then they had a game that ended up being a forfeit because the other team used an illegal player. So of Ooh. the three games that have counted, they, there were two sweeps and one 3-2 game against another contending team. So in those, uh, let's say, nine victories, right, they had enough of a goal differential. In those nine games, they averaged more than a three-goal differential. Because they lost two games, as you said, right? So in those two sweeps, they must have absolutely destroyed whoever they were up against. And uh, yeah, they're looking to do the same thing up against the Sorcerers. And judging by their uh, saves per game, it doesn't look like it's going to... They're not going to stop them. It doesn't look like that. Yeah, like even the teams that have offense have struggled to put things past the the Wildebeest, because the Wildebeest do so much unrelenting offense, the other teams really have struggled to get things going, and it's hard to believe that this uh, Sorcerer's team that really has struggled to get offense going against a number of even weaker teams are going to be able to turn that around against the Wildebeest. I'm optimistic they can at least put up some amount of a fight to make it at least somewhat interesting, but the odds are certainly not in their favor for this game. Now, there is one odd stat that I do see out of the Wildebeest is that their opponent's shooting percentage is 40%, which means... Uh, they only let on four shots per game, which is extremely low, absolutely unheard of. But it's early on, so they've dominated the three games that uh, have counted, right? 
Um, forty percent shoot uh, opponent shooting percentage though is in fact quite high. They they are four uh, third uh, in in that category, right? And that's that's not something you want to be high in, right? You want to be in the mid to low twenties um to, to to be seen as decent but these guys despite that they have uh the 80 percent winning percentage they have a three goal plus three goal differential right scoring 4.6 goals per game and letting in 1.6 meanwhile on the other side uh the sorcerers uh only scoring 1.64 and uh, letting in 2.82 i think that average might go up for the goals against even um, yeah when you Sorry, when you look at both of these teams, the the one thing that really stands out to me about looking at the sheets right here is that the Sorcerers seem to be a better defensive team than the Wildebeest. It's just the Wildebeest offense is so strong and so powerful that they don't need to play defense and can come away with wins despite their defense lacking in that regard, like you mentioned. Yeah, exactly. And uh, well, at least there's that going for them. But the the Sorcerer's shooting percentage is only 26%. Meanwhile, the Wildebeest actually have a really high one. They're the top. And uh, no one's really that close because they have a 41.8 shooting percentage. And the next closest team is the Penguins, who have a 39.08. Yeah, just to add about the uh, about the shooting percentage of their opponents at 40%, I think that has a lot to do with the play style of the Wildebeest. I think they're such an offensive team that they put a lot into their offense and their dives forward, and that means that a majority of the counterattacks, if, if the other team can get it out of their zone, will often go into the net. And as I can see from their stat lines, they're not really an assist, a, a save-heavy team. So mm -hmm. if the other team can get past that unrelenting offense and get shots the other way, there's a high likelihood they'll go in. Yeah, and uh, that's uh, that's that's something that uh, the Sorcerers will have going for them. But if their defense isn't up to par here and they can't find uh, more than two goals per game here, they're they're going to be in, in deep trouble up against this Wildebeest team. Uh, are we in agreement that this looks like a 3-0 sweep for the Wildebeests here? Yeah, I, I believe like if it isn't a 3-0 sweep, there will be a game that the Wildebeest would want to have back because it would take a like, I think a really high level of underperforming from that roster for them to drop a game here. Yeah, especially looking at, looking at the shots per game differential, right? They let on 4.09 shots per game, as I already said, but they shoot 11.09 per game, which means that they shoot seven more shots per game than their opponents, right? Yep. If you lose even a single game there with that kind of statistic, that means your shots aren't qual quality, they're quantity. Mm-hmm. But uh, they've been yeah. scoring uh, over over forty percent, as I said. So their shots not only are quality, but there's also a quantity of those quality shots. Yeah, I think the the main thing that the sorcerers are going to have to do, just thinking about it now, is attack on the counter attack. Like you said, that they are just hammering away uh, the wildebeests are on offense. And if the sorcerers can take it back the other way and get a quick break, I think. If they can get lucky a couple of times, they could take a game off, maybe two games off if they're lucky with them. I do like uh, what I just saw in the chat here. Who said that? This is going to be three Brazil said standard Steve. <laughs> Stevie. Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> that that would that would be uh, the biggest slap in the face uh, you you could give to a team, right? Not not only getting Brazil once, but getting Brazil three times in a row. Uh, sounds like quite the project, but. Uh, I think that's going to be it as all the players have joined into the lobby here. Uh, I don't know if uh, Ed Boy is going to be joining us for the cast, but thank you so much, Cubix and uh, Raid, uh, for joining in here. Uh, will you guys be joining me later on? No, we're, we're the, you're going to be seeing the analysts from the upper leagues, but it was nice being here today. Hey, thank you so much, you two. Uh, you guys bring great analytics uh, to this uh, league. Thank you so much for coming here to the desk. And now let's go on with the game. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a match between the Wildebeests and Sorcerers as we've been talking about both teams. How do you guys feel? What are your predictions in the chat? And uh, who who is your MVP as all these players uh, are in the game? We got uh, Aiden. We got uh, Insult to Injury. We got uh, Willy Wonka, Dorknader, uh, Sinful, and Tyler Scully here. Game number one is going to go underway. Aiden up against Insult to Injury. Game one is underway. 
This goalie gets it over one. Now he's up against Willy Wonka. He's up in the corner, and that's a bad touch, but what a save there by Aiden. And that's going to keep the Wildebeests tied here at nil. That's a great save to be had early on. Dorknator with that shot. It's going to go high, and he can't follow up his own shot, so he tries to bump out the player. Willy Wonka, he brings himself way too high. Aiden tries to go for it. He does. He's going to get it over insult and past Scully as well. It's in the corner now. Oh, wow. Willie over to Aiden. That shot's bouncing up, and it's going to go into the top corner. Aiden finds the first goal of the game. Five seconds in. Uh, Jason. Always, always with the Ducks for uh... And somehow he's always wrong. I, I don't know how. Jason has always been wrong about that 4 0 prediction. It's never come. It's it, it, in the year that the Ducks have been in the league, they've never 4 0 a series. So he, he's always been wrong on every single prediction. Insult to injury. What a shot there, but it goes off of the post. And now it's going to be brought back here. Will the beast, uh, Willie? He's going to absolutely miss that one. He misplays it. He was in all alone. He just loses his edge there. Oh my goodness, sinful. What a shot there. He gets it over one, gets it over two. Popped that one up over Dork. And then that second touch here over Aiden. Aiden was going to hit this one. But uh, that's going to go in. And uh, insult. Uh, is he using... Who's using an illegal decal? As someone pointed out in the chat. Would that be an illegal decal? I don't think so. Oh, yes, it is. Tyler and Insult Injury using illegal decals. Ooh. Yeah, an Insult to Injury using the Silver uh, Season 12 decal, which I do believe is also uh, illegal because it can't change the color of it. Oh, that's a, that's a punishment indeed. That's going to be a penalty, but not towards uh, the Wildebeest. That's going to go towards the way of the, uh, the Sorcerer's Wildebeest here. Aiden, he's been very consistent about hitting those balls, and he's got a save and two goals uh, for his efforts there. It's going to be a 2-1 game, 3-23. Uh, 3-23, yeah, now uh, left in the game. And... Uh, Oh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves some drama in the chat with people using illegal decals. Oops. That's going to be popped up in the air. The fake coming in, but Sinful uh, stayed there, and he was able to pick up that ball that was rolling slowly. Aiden keep, tries to keep that ball in the zone. Willy Wonka is going to put it in the midfield. Tyler, he's going to leave it for insult. Insult with a shot. He's stopped by Aiden. It's a good 50. A good 50 by Dork as well, leaving it for Willie in the corner. Tyler up in the air, he goes. He shoots it a little too far. Insult to injury, won't be able to find this for a little bit. He hits it awkwardly though. And Tyler passes it back to Sinful, last man back. And it works out in the end, but now Dorknator in the corner here, up against Tyler. Tyler is gonna be able to get that clear. And Sinful with a shot towards the front of the net. It's gonna go off the back wall, but that's gonna be a free goal for Sinful here. That's a good rebound. It's tied at two. Two and a half minutes left to go. That's a good back wall pass to himself there, and it's a 2-2 game here. Uh, both Sinful and Aiden, the only players uh, with a uh, with a goal. Uh, both players with uh, illegal decals yet to find a goal. Aiden's now trying to find a hat trick here, but he can't find his own. Uh, double tap, Willy Wonka trying to do the same thing, he's gonna miss, leaving it for Aiden, back over to Willy Wonka, but Sinful's there because he, uh, because Willy was way too hesitant to go for it. Dorkinator now from his own zone, 50 Sinful, it's a good 50 for him, and Aiden with a good 50 of his own, but Sinful, last man back, able to get that one, but Willy, he's able to get that one over in the offensive zone, Aiden now tries to pass towards the Dorkinator, and he puts it into the far corner, as uh, the defender there, I think that was uh, insult. Was it insult? Yes, it was. He got bumped out of the way. And who was that in the back of the net? That was Tyler Scully as well, getting bumped. Both players in the net. Both defenders absolutely bumped out of the way. And that's a free goal for Dorknator there. It's a 3-2 game. The 
shot there. It's going to be put aside. That's a good demo on Willie, though. That's going to allow this ball to be cleared out, or so does it. Sinful now. He's going to be waiting for this one. He pops it over one, pops it over two. He's got no boost, but he's still able to keep that ball out of his zone. Great play there by Sinful. Sinful's been uh, the MVP so far for uh, the Sorcerer, scoring the goals and uh, keeping that ball out of the midfield, being able to get those clears. Those are very crucial for his team. Uh, even without the goals, he's actually got uh, 168 points. So you got to think that uh, he, he's right up there in the amount of points that he's made just because of his clears. What a goal there. That's the hat trick uh, for Sinful. And he's been able to hit those balls wherever he's won. We talked about him in the pregame show here. And uh, yeah, we said that this new acquisition was the only one along with uh, another teammate. I forgot the name of, uh, of uh, said teammate. It was uh, Norkel, who's not playing. Um, that, that have been scoring and so right now Sinful is the only one scoring except Tyler now he steals his teammates goal here Sinful popping this one up in the air getting this touch but Tyler gets the little touch and that beats the two defenders in the net it's a 4-3 lead that's the first lead for the Sorcerers Aiden now getting the clear out. Tyler trying to, to pressure, insult the injury. He's gonna finally get that ball cleared out. It's back to himself, but he doesn't go for his own shot. That's gonna leave it for Sinful. Pops it up in the air, tries to fake. That's not gonna work out. Willie, he's got full boost. He gets it past two, but insult the injury. Last man back, he's gonna keep the ball in. Aiden with that ball towards the midfield. Sinful is gonna pop it back up. Once again, Tyler, he's gonna hit it out of the way. And this is gonna be a good break here for Wildebeest, but they can't pick it up here. Despite having uh, a good amount of shots to their credit, Sorcerers are leading seven to five in shots, and that's gonna make it seven to six. Last opportunity here, the ball can't hit the ground, it does, Sorcerers. Take game one. That's a that's an upset for game number one here. Tyler and Insult to Injury will be changing their cars here. As they need to because of the illegal cars that they have. And that's quite the upset here. We expected Wildebeests uh, to, to get a sweep here. And they they aren't even going to find uh, a, a second uh, a, sec a win right they're they're going to let in uh, the first game here they're going to leave it for the sorcerers which uh, which is quite impressive so good job to the sorcerers right like uh, props to them they they uh, they got themselves in into a nice little track here we're still waiting on Dork I think to come back here. That's why we've been told to not spawn in right away. Insult didn't show all too much this game, but uh, he he did show up a little bit later on in the game. He was able to get the clears that were important to his team. Yeah, he probably had another preset, hopefully, because if he doesn't take it off, that is a penalty. And uh, there we go. The teams have agreed to come back in here. We're going to go for game number two. Let's just take a quick look around here. Yes, Tyler has changed his decal as well. And we're off to game number two here. Wildebeest down one nothing in the series. Let's see how this goes. Wildebeest once again keeping in the offensive zone. That was something that we saw a lot. Wildebeest kept it in the offensive zone, but once they were in the defensive zone, they lost a lot of structure. Their their uh, rotations are not based off of uh, the defense. They, their defense isn't their strong point whatsoever. It's their offense. And uh, their offense, I think, let them down in uh, game number one. They can't allow that to happen in this game number two here. Thank you, Disby, for the four bits. That's very nice of you. No esports decals on stream, yes. Uh, also, uh, well, it's not that they're esports decals. That's not the problem. It's that they can't change color. That's that's the biggest problem uh, that we have with them. So no decal that can't change color. 
is the actual ruling, I do believe. So that's why season 12 decals, uh, reward decals are also uh, illegal. Sinful with a great save there as Dorkinator had a good 50 on the wall. Aiden's gonna find uh, his third goal of the series. And that's because of that bounce off of the corner there. No one really expected that one. And that's gonna find the back of the net. It's one nothing. Once again, Wildebeest with the first goal here. But every time that the Wildebeest scored, I don't think you're allowed to use uh, any uh, decals whatsoever because it still messes up with your colors, your team colors. So no, you're not allowed to have any uh, decal that can't change colors. I do believe Dorkinator giving his team uh, the first two-goal lead that they've had, actually. This is the first two-goal lead of the series. Uh, not on stream. I, I don't know if you're if you're allowed uh, for regular season games that aren't on stream. On stream, I know you're not allowed. In scrims, you are allowed. Make your car similar, uh, uh, a similar color to your opponent's team colors and using a decal that makes your car similar to your opponent's team colors is prohibited. Okay. I thought it was just all, all decals that could not change color. That would have made more sense. Just take them all out while you're at it. Don't discriminate. But hey, if... Uh, they want to regulate it that way, that's that's perfectly fine. It's in the offensive zone once again for these Wildebe for this Wildebeest team. I think they were really mad that uh, they, they didn't score uh, enough to win game number one here. They've, scored, they've shot just as many shots now uh, in the first two minutes as they did in the first four minutes of game number one. And that's important to know. They, they absolutely uh, need to apply those shots more and uh, not allow the Sorcerers any kind of big opportunities. And so the injury was up in the air, but he put that ball just a little bit wide. Tyler trying to keep that ball in. Insult will, and he's passing it over to Sinful, who misses. That shot by Insult is stopped by Dorkinator. It's in the corner. Tyler over to Sinful. Sinful is getting swept aside here by Aiden. Aiden continues on with the ball, leaves it back for Willie. Willie in the corner tries to pass it off to Aiden. Aiden's gonna demo uh, Insult there, and Sinful is gonna be able to get the ball cleared out. Dorkinator keeps the ball in. Up in the air he goes. Popped up way high, Insult misses, and so does Aiden. But now it's gonna be Willie with a shot towards the front of the net. Tyler with a save, and Willie overextends. And that's gonna be cleared out. Had Willie just stayed back just a little bit, that's a free goal there. Thank you, Disby, for more bits, 10 bits. Uh, thank you so much. That's another demo by Aiden, though. Aiden's been very aggressive on those demos. The double top, uh, the double top, the double touch uh, from Willie there. That's gonna almost go in and goes off the crossbar, though. Very close, very, very close. Of course, St. Wildebeest 3 2, 3 1. Uh, a lot of people said 3 0 at the beginning. Obviously, it can't be a 3 0 anymore since Sorcerers won game number one. But people are still expecting Wildebeest here to win this and uh, go 5 0 for the season. Meanwhile, uh, leaving the Sorcerers 0 5. Uh, there we go. Docile Hydra going with the 3 2 Sorcerers and uh, Revy going with the 3 1 Sorcerers here. Uh, so far, this has been all uh, Wildebeest, though. Wrap your teams, uh, ladies and gentlemen. There's still a minimum of three games to be played here. That's a shot on that. Tyler Scully, he's going to bring it back to one here. And that's going to bring out a nice goal. And that's what one they needed. They're only down by one now, and the shots are tied at seven apiece. The, sh uh, the saves are tied at four apiece. But the goals are not tied right now. Wildebeest do have an advantage that's very close to going in. But Dork, he grabs himself the Guardian. Getting his third save. Willie putting it in the midfield. He gets a good 50. Up in the air goes Dork. But Sinful's going to get it over him. And first, Aiden over to Willie. Back over to Dork here. Dork with full boost. He's going to go up here against Scully. He hesitated a little too much here. Oh no, Aiden and Dork, they miscommunicated uh, there. Willie, he's gonna grab this ball. He tries for the double tap, but he expected Insult to hit that ball. He gave Insult the respect, and because of that, he missed it. Sinful gets it over Aiden. Dork, he's able to get the ball cleared out. This is the last attempt here for the Sorcerer's team. They need to get this ball out now. It's off the post. 
And can they keep it up in the air? No, they can't. The Wildebeests, they tie up the series at one apiece. And we got a minimum of two more games to be played here. Uh, and this series could end up in a 3-1. But who will win this series? Will it be a 3-1? Will it be a 3-2? Continue putting your predictions in the chat. I'm going to go get myself some water as I've run out. And uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back. We are going to go to game number three here. And, uh... Alright, let's see what we got here uh, in the chat. Any more predictions that I can see? Uh, none that I haven't sent out loud. Uh, Slayzilla, yes, actually, you could. Uh, all you have to do is join the, the server, and uh, was it? We, we just put out applications today because we do need more casters, we need more streamers. Uh, it would be nice if you uh, just popped on by, maybe uh, do a few uh, uh, was it? interviews, and uh, just get get the, the, to know the, the staff. And uh, hey, we'll we'll see uh, we'll see if things work out there. Game number three is underway. The series is tied up one. Anyone who's not in the um, in the server, please join the Discord and uh, follow the stream if you're liking what you see here. Uh, this is Paladin gameplay, which is uh, 1,000 MMR to 1,250, 1, I do believe. God, it's it's close enough. It's not 1,300. It stops somewhere between 1,250 and 1,300. But uh, currently, it's tied up one in the series. And uh, we've got a lot of game left here. We've got a minimum of nine minutes left to play in this series, possibly 14, if not more, if there's overtime. Insult puts it back into the zone here, Willie. He's gonna bring this up in the midfield, gets it by Tyler, leaving Sinfa as last man back. He pops it up in the air. Can he follow up his own shot? No, he can't. He's got no boost. But as both his teammates double commit for that ball, but Dork, he can't go punish them. Neither can Willy. That ball is going to be cleared out. Got ourselves a game here. It's still 0 0. Wildebeest haven't taken this long to score uh, in the first two games. And uh, I'm surprised here because both teams uh, that uh, the Wildebeest, uh, all three teams that the Wildebeest have been up against here, uh, haven't given them that, this much trouble, especially a team that uh, were 0-4, right? Uh, as in the Sorcerers, right? We expected a lot more uh, from the Wildebeest here, but uh, the Sorcerers are giving them a handful and sinful here. A great pass down. Dork tries to get the clear and insult finds uh, his first goal in the series. Nothing game. Three minutes left to go here. Willie is going to try and get over Sinful. He can't. Sinful wins that good dunk. And oh, Sinful, he stops his own teammate from getting the clear there. Good thing Insult is there to help uh, get the ball cleared out here. It's a good 50 by Sinful, stopping Aiden. Sinful's been really been the reason uh, why this team is still in it. He's been able to make the great defensive plays and. Uh, Keep their team in it offensively. They've been doing it so, so well. And uh, the defense on the side of uh, Tyler and uh, an insult to injury uh, have been pretty decent and Sinful has been able to push up because of it. Getting the clears out, getting uh, his shots on net. He's been very, very dependent when the ball's been in the air. He very, very uh, rarely misses another ball that he doesn't miss but it's a bad touch he's able to flick it back in gets it over one can't get it past two though as really he's gonna pick it up pop it up in the air sinful once again once it's in the air uh he he's the king of the air in this game so far in this series uh, he's been doing it very very well sinful demos 
Aiden, but Dorknayer keeps the ball in the zone. Up against Tyler there. Tyler's going to win that 50. Ball is cleared out by Aiden in the corner. Here it goes. Aiden pops it over one. Can't get it past Insult, and Dork, he's going to have to go up here. It's off the, the, the ceiling, but Aiden has got no boost, and because of that, he's got no power, and Scully's able to get back in time to make the tough save. Insult to injury, stops the clear out towards the front of the net for a pass. That's a great play there by Insult. Dork with a shot towards the front of the net. The demo comes in, but Willie makes his own save. He stops his own teammate, but Aiden's able to stuff it in. Oh no, Willie, he demos his teammate, uh, demos the defender, and because of that, he got a weird bounce. I don't think that's his fault. I can't give that uh, fault any to Willie. He just tried to demo the guy in the net, but his car got a weird bounce. I can't, that is a very interesting bounce indeed. Well, luckily uh, for the Wildebeest, they got uh, the rebound and they were able to stuff it in. A tied at one game. Sinful with a bad touch here. Willie, though, was on his hood and unable to capture that ball. Aiden tries to make it fall towards the front of the net. Scully and insult. Double commit for it, but Aiden has a rare aerial miss. Sinful passes it over to, uh, to, uh, to Tyler. And he tries to demo Willie. That's not going to work out. It's a 2VO. And Willie's going to put it in. Oh, my goodness. Down by one goal. Now they're up by one. 35 seconds to go. Echo, don't say that. Even if it's true, don't say that. You can't say things like that. The ball is off the back wall. Aiden's able to get the clear out. It's not on net. And Tyler, he's able to get that ball into the corner. But it's a double commit. Can they be punished? They almost do. And it's going to be cleared out here by Sinful. Put into the offensive zone by Sinful once again. Stopped by Willie. It's in the corner. Cleared out by Aiden. And this is going to be the last opportunity here for the Sorcerer's team. That's a miss. Sinful has to take this and keep it up in the air. This is that last bounce. That ball can't hit the ground anymore. That's a good stop by the Wildebeest. It doesn't hit the ground, though. Tyler, he's able to bring it back up. But the pass down is stopped by Aiden. And that's going to be a Wildebeest victory. They now take a 2-1 uh, stranglehold on the series. And that's a good sight for the Wildebeest here. They don't score that many goals. Two 2-1 two games for the Wildebeest. A team that have scored an average of 4.6 goals per game. Yeah, we have not seen that offensive Wildebeest. They've only scored uh, seven goals in these three games so far. That's an average of 2.33. That's that's very low compared to, compared to what they normally score. Meanwhile, the Sorcerers, though, uh, have six goals. And so they've, they're scoring two goals per game. And, uh, well, that's actually higher than their current average. Uh, Sorcerers are coming in uh, with a sub in here. Who are they subbing in? Sorcerers are probably going to be subbing in Norkel here into the game. Let's see who uh, gets spiced, uh, who gets uh, taken out though. Let's read some chat while uh, these players come in. Let's just wait uh, for uh, this last player. Is it who is going to be joining here? I don't think Dork saw it. No, Dork didn't see it. We'll have to restart the server here. Restarting the server it is. So uh, we are going to be back in about two, three minutes here. That allows me to read chat though. And uh, I did say that uh, Paladin was uh, 1,000 to 1,250. It's 1,000 to 1,289. So I was about right. You made Renegade by 10 MMR. You know what? As long as you made it, right? If that was your goal, then you made it. And uh, that that that's a good goal to hit, right? You you hit your goal, and that's that's what's really important, right? <laughs> Murps is in the chat. <laughs> uh, yes, we got five more viewers. Ooh, it looks like uh, we have quite the amount of views. We have 40 views right now. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, that's in here watching uh, the series go on along the way. 
And uh, do you think that the Wildebeest finish it here or do the Sorcerers make it a comeback here and go to game five? What are your predictions? Ah, that's what he's doing. Edboy is apparently playing a game. <laughs> no wonder I'm alone. Oops. Oh, that sucks. But it's fine. It's Paladin. Uh, there's not... It's not like there's that much to talk about, let's be honest, right? there. There's a lot of misses. I like the play from both teams, but I'm able to color while also playing my own game here. Uh, talking about the game here. So there's not really a problem. Uh, who's come in here? It's going to be Norkel. Who's going to sub out, though? Let's see what happens here. Tyler Scully. And, oh, it's going to be insult to injury. That's out here. We're going to go to game number four as it's underway now. And, and I'm giving Sorcerer's a little bit of a chance. Norkel is the only player with over a goal per game so far in uh, the Sorcerer's uh, team here on their roster. It's been doing pretty, pretty good. And uh, I do like uh, what I've been seeing in terms of stats, but let's see if he's better than Insult here. Insult has been uh, the bottom in points uh, so far in all three games, so that's not something you like to see Sinful with a shot attempt. That just goes off the post. Aiden is going to double commit with, I do believe it was uh, Dork. And uh, it's, it's not punished as the ball is cleared out. Dork now in the net, waiting for that pop-up. Sinful pops it up to himself off the corner. Willie, he reads it. Off the corner wall it goes. Norkel goes up. It's going to be cleared out. Tyler tries to slow it down for Sinful. Sinful misses it. Tyler just passed it out in the midfield. Aiden almost capitalizes on that one. Can't find it. Good clear, though, by Scully there able to find uh, the offensive zone. Yeah, Wildebeest don't look like themselves today, I agree with you, Raid. Uh, they, they do look uh, pretty, pretty weak. They do look pretty weak in terms of offense. They, they don't shoot the amount of shots that they've been shooting, and they're letting on a lot of shots as well. And so their midfield play, their midfield presence just isn't there. Uh, and we expected a lot more out of them, uh, especially when considering you're up against a 0-4 team, right? You're expecting uh, a stomp here. And although they do have the lead right now, it's by no means a stomp. Uh, you guys uh, are, are seeing the same game I am, right? Uh, the, these two teams, uh, there's uh, all three games have been one goal games so far. Four three games in the way of Sorcerers and two two one games uh, the way of the Wildebeests here. So it's it's very un uh, unusual to see this, that uh, teams with such high stats, uh, who uh, especially offensive stats, currently not making their offensive dues and they, they are letting on more shots and letting in more goals. they normally do. Let's read a little bit more of the chat here. Oh my goodness. Revy getting roasted by Echo in the chat. I would pick up Paladins over you, he says. <laughs> oof. That's a, that's an oof. Uh, the, the load size is oof for sure on that one. So agreeing with it uh, only makes it uh, a little bit more of a rose. Yeah, insult uh, is going to to the uh, it's going to the spectator chat. Funny enough, though, is that insult just wasn't there. I find he, yeah, his name is insult to injury, but he wasn't really insulting anyone with his with his play other than his teammates. And the only person he was injuring was himself and his teammates. So. You know, it, it was kind of expected that he was the one that's go that was going to be subbed out, but at the same time, uh, hope, I was hoping that he'd have a game to prove himself. Maybe if they make it to game five, he will have a game to prove himself here, but he, he just d doesn't seem uh, in there tonight. And uh, on the score sheet, in the stats sheet, I should say, uh, he doesn't look there either. I'd say good demo. The ball isn't going to roll in. It's 
gonna be wide, but will he? He finds the ball because it's just slow enough for him to get it. The angle is there. Dork isn't gonna go for it. And willie has gotta go for it. That's actually a really good angle. Oh my goodness, what a goal there. And he finds the back of the net. Uh, Hydra, I'm not having a salad tonight. I already ate. Uh, I I had. Uh, I already knew that I was casting tonight, unlike uh, Sunday, uh, where I didn't know. So uh, I just had my salad and fish. Uh, in tranquility, ooh, Norkel. Uh, he he barely misses that ball, and that doesn't go in. That would have been uh, very useful for them if they would have scored that one high up the game, and uh, we would have seen a great goal there. And uh, it's a tight game uh, with uh, such a tight series so far. It's popped up in the air. Norkel is going to hit it. It's going to go down from the ceiling. The ceiling sinful, though. Can't get the shot on net. That's a good 50 by Willy. Aiden, he's going to go out of rotation here. Pops it over one. He's got no boost. Gets it by sinful. Tyler now is going to have to go up for this one. Gets it by Willy, but not by Dork. Dork keeps that ball back in the zone. No one's going to be able to pick this one up just yet. Aiden with a shot. It's towards the front of the net. And Tyler misses it. And Aiden gives his team the two goal lead. He's been scoring a majority of the goals here. That's a good shot. And Tyler just misses that one. Tobu and Tobes are two different people, Murps. I think you know that one. That's why you're laughing, though. I just got whooshed, I think. And it's 2-0 now with 15 seconds left to, uh, to play. Do the Sorcerers have anything? Well, that, they stopped that goal with, that, uh, with some kind of magic here. Can't they find... A goal here. They need to find it now. That shot, is it on net? No, it's off the post. If that would have gone in, they would have had the chance with a kickoff goal to score. But it's just off the post, and they're not even going to be given the chance. GG's all around. Wildebeest come back uh, after losing game number one. They only score six goals in the last three games, but their defense tightened up. Their defense really got stronger there. And they played very well. Both teams' defenses, uh, especially midfield play, midfield presence for both these teams were really, really good. And uh, I do like uh, what what was uh, was what I was seeing there. Uh, thank you, uh, <laughs> Bard, for for uh, trying to help me out here. But uh, yeah, uh, good good luck with uh, your grid tonight. Hopefully, it goes well. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, that was our first series of tonight, but we got three more, uh, I do think. Um, I, I do believe. Uh, what, let's see what the schedule uh, tells us. Uh, the schedule tells us that tonight we got Gorillas versus Witches up next, and then Captains versus Pandas and Wolves versus Thrashers. We got four different leagues tonight in Independent. We're going to go back to the desk here as we wait. Uh, for the next match to get underway. Let's read a little bit of the chat in the meanwhile as I wait for... Oh, uh, I think that's Revy that's going to be joining us. Uh, Revy, welcome uh, to the desk. How how can I help you? Oh, hello there. I was watching that last series. You did a great job, Quantum. Thank you, thank you. Uh, gotta admit, I was not expecting that outcome, but you know what? It is what it is. I, I thought that... Uh, Sorcerers, we're going to take the momentum from game one and bring it through. Yeah, I think you said a 3-2 or a 3-1. I did see that. 3-1, uh, but I, I was sort of hesitating between 3-2 and 3-1. But I, yeah. honestly, that, that was how Wildebeest should have won that. I think that game one was a fluke. Maybe, yeah, maybe on game one stream jitters, something like that. You know, I don't actually think it's a fluke because Wildebeest, that was their, I think that was their best offensive game. But the defense just wasn't there, so they uh, so they probably told themselves, okay, we need to bulk down on the defense, which they did, right? They only limited the Sorcerers to two goals in the last three games there, and th that was absolutely necessary because they only scored six. Yeah, I mean, it was just... They played, they played too strong defensively, right? Yeah, they really did. It, it was... It just felt like those last three games, the Sorcerers just couldn't get through it enough. It was... They had opportunities, but it just seemed like Wildebeest were always there. Yeah, the Wildebeest were just in the series. And uh, listen, I, I think they, they they were just able to bolt down on their defense. They they sacrificed a lot of offense, though, because 
As I said earlier in the pregame show, right, they score 4.6 goals per game before coming into this one. And they, they, they didn't even score more than three goals in one game, right? So uh, that's very did surprising. The first, did they not in the first game? No, they only scored three goals in the first game. It was a 4-3 oh, wow. game. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. So, so no, uh, the Wildebeest just did not come out offensively. This was a defensive fest for them. And yeah. they, their defense really was really good, honestly, after game number one. But their offense just – they sacrificed a lot of offense, I think, for that defense. Yeah, I think they did too. All right, well, let's move on to our second series now because obviously 